Hi there, wonderful friends of Moments with Pastor Funke. It's really great for us to be coming to you with another exciting episode that I've titled, Moses is Dead. Listen and let it inspire you to better living. In the Old Testament book of Joshua, Joshua's mentor had just died and the baton of leadership had been transferred to Joshua by God. Now, for much of the time they spent in the wilderness together, about 40 years, Joshua had looked up to Moses for guidance. Then one day, Moses was gone, and God was calling him to arise and lead his people into the land he had promised them. I guess it's understandable that Joshua would be fearful about filling the shoes of the great man of God who had such a close walk with him and who had been used by him to carry out many miracles, including the parting of the Red Sea. However, there's always a season for handing over, and God knew that Joshua was ready for the upcoming challenge. Let's read from chapter 1 of Joshua and begin with verse number 2. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, you and all these people, to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. Now did you see it, friends? The first thing that God told Joshua was to confront the situation as it was. Moses was dead. Joshua needed to accept that his mentor of all those years wasn't around for him to go to anymore. He was now the mentor that others would run to. I can't underscore the importance of facing the facts of one situation enough before beginning a new venture, a new project, a new marriage. It was after God had brought that reality fully to Joshua that he told him to arise and go over Jordan. Let's read 2b again. Now therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all these people, to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. You see, friends, there are some things that you can't have, although God has given them to you, if you don't first arise and go over. Joshua was, uh, Jordan rather, was something that was in the way of God's people to get into their promised land. They needed to go over it, and so do you and I. God may have told you that he has given you something nice, a very good job, the husband you've been praying about, a beautiful family. Friends, for you to possess those things, you'll need to realize that Moses is dead. Moses to some may be relationships that they had hoped would work out, but after two years of courtship, nothing is left but broken hearts. Their friends, Moses is dead. Accept it, arise, cross over the pain of the loss, and embrace the new thing that God is holding for you. Cross over the bitterness, cross over the trust issue, cross over the feelings of loss and betrayal. God has a fantastic plan that is waiting to unfold to you. Perhaps it's the loss of a significant investment in a business. So many plans, so much money invested, so much effort put into it, but after years, nothing to show for it. There's devastation, loss and pain. Understandable. My brother, Moses is dead. Arise, plow again, cross over into a new pasture land that God has in store for you. We all love to read verse 8 of Joshua chapter 1, but it's very, and it's very good. However, being strong and of good courage begins with facing the giants that are on the way to hinder. Once they've been put down, we can arise, cross over, and inherit our God-given promises. Dear friends, thank you for joining us again in this episode. We look forward to bringing another ex episode your way the same time next week by God's grace. Until then, God bless you all. I'm Pastor Finke.